College, I have the blessed responsibility of presiding today as we welcome you, the class of 2026, to the community of scholars that assemble here at Lane College on this holy hill where lives and minds are transformed, liberated, celebrated, and experience the power of potential. Your presence here today gives new meaning to 1 Peter 2 and 9, but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into this wonderful light. And I'll invite this class of 2026 to celebrate with me and to repeat after me. So repeat after me, class. According to the Bible. Let's say it like with me. Okay. Repeat after me. According to the Bible. According to, the Bible, According to the Bible, I am God's chosen. I, God's chosen. I pray and thank, thank you, God, because you made me amazing, amazing. Amazing. Awesome. awesome, and wonderful. Amen. What you have done is wonderful. Amen. And I know this very well. And I, know this very well. I, am I am God's chosen. I am God's chosen. To do, to do exceedingly, exceedingly abundantly, abundantly above, all, above all that I ask, that I, ask, that I imagine, that I, that I pray for, that I pray for or that I even dreamed of. I am God's chosen. Am chosen. Now put your hands together and praise God for making God, for making you the wonderful individual that you are. As you are seated, I invite uh, to the podium 
Reverend Freeman McKendra, our chaplain, who will now lead us in the invocation. Let us pray. Creator, sustainer, liberator, redeemer. It is unto thee we give thanks for thy unfailing grace. For every morning, we come to know thy mercy. We come to know thy grace. In these moments, God, we stop to give your name praise. We give thy power, thy awesomeness. We give it thy praise because in these moments we are reminded that you have answered our prayers once again. Prayers that were prayed by grandmothers and grandfathers. Prayers that were prayed by mothers and fathers, uncles and aunts, sisters and brothers, cousins, teachers, Prayers that ask that you would deliver unto us this day and for this moment, we say thank you. God, in this opening freshman induction ceremony, we thank thee because you've given us opportunities at new life, new opportunities. We ask for God that into this class of 2026, you would continue to imbue your spirit so that in these moments we ask beginnings Tell thee, we give unto thee our lives, so that we might come to know thy mercy, thy justice, thy grace in our living. But even more so, we ask in this season that you would consecrate our hearts and our hands, that you would sanctify our work. God, even unto faculty and staff members, to everyone who walks these hallowed grounds of prayer lane, we ask that in these moments you would give us a mind to be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the word of the Lord. And for that, God, we give your name praise. Again, God, we say thank you for these moments. Trusting in thee all the way. In the name of the one that told us and showed us that life comes even after death. And that justice and mercy shall be our portion. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Let us rest upon our feet for the singing of Lift Every Voice and Sing. <laughs>
scholars. This matriculation ceremony marks the beginning of your academic journey and foreshadows your graduation two, three, or four years from now. An academic convocation is a solemn ceremony that invokes centuries of tradition in higher education. The faculty and those on the stage are dressed in academic regalia. Our robes and colorful hoods both symbolize significant events in higher education and the honor, the long-standing honor, the historic role of the teacher, the professor, and the scholar. There are only three professions that have the privilege of wearing robes. Scholars, ministers, and judges. Today we have faculty who have joined us wearing their regalia. Black is often the recommended color. You will note that I am wearing the colors of the college that are reserved in some instances for the president. You will also note that this robe has four bars on it. Three bars typically indicate the earning of a PhD, a doctoral degree. And the four bars, the fourth bar is reserved for the leader of the institution. Uh, gathered here today, and I want to celebrate these faculty and uh, share with you on some of some of the colors that we uh, that we have. As I mentioned, um, the gowns are, are typically black. Uh, the degree granting institutions, and you will see some of your uh, faculty colleagues are wearing uh, robes that represent their institutions and the colors from which uh, they, uh, their institutions are wore. Uh, the gowns of the bachelor's and master's degrees are untrimmed, and for the doctoral degree, the gown is um, face down, the front with a velvet, usually black, and then, as I mentioned, the three bars. Now, uh, as you look about, you will see, and uh, you will see uh, dark blue, which uh, represents the uh, PhD. Those of you that have dark blue, stand and let us celebrate you. Uh, you may see, yes, yes, there are, there are a few of those, yes. The doctor of philosophy, the, um, let's see, you also see the light blue uh, that represents uh, education. I believe I saw one education there, yes. Yes, and you saw one. Let's see, did I see the pink of music? Did I see, yes, there's a pink of music. Uh, and I, I, the gold um, of, of business and economics, um, I believe. Is that no no gold of business of economics? Okay. And uh, who am I missing? I'm missing some that are here today. Uh, gold and yellow. Any gold and yellow in our science people wearing gold and yellow today? Okay. All right. Well, all my faculty uh, colleagues, uh, would you all stand and let us greet and celebrate you today, each of you. <laughs> today, scholars, we don the robes uh, that we have earned uh, at the master's degree level, at the doctoral degree level. In 2026, or before, I see a few parents in the house, or before 2026, you will wear the robe that you have earned as you receive your degree. Today, foreshadows that day. So we welcome you to Lane College, and we are pleased and excited to join you in this journey. And we are praying for you. And we pray God's richest blessings on you. We pray God's blessings on Lane College. And we pray that you're ready to go to work. I'm pleased to bring Dr. Kai Horn Alameen, Dr. Amina Farrakhan Gooch, and Mr. Keith Jordan to share community expectations in that order. Would you receive them as they each approach the podium? share with him that he missed divinity. <laughs> the 
task before me is to very briefly extend expectations for the coming year and the time in which you matriculate through Lane College. I'd like to begin sharing with a story, if you will. March the 21st of 2020, I received a call from the state of Georgia that my only child, 23 years old, had been killed. She was your age, once you're right at your ages. Um, been to college and decided to move back to Georgia where we lived and uh, went to pick someone up from work and some people were fighting. She was killed in the crossfire. Thought about that a lot, you know, because we ask those questions in challenging times like that. Well, what if she hadn't moved back to Georgia? I really didn't want to move. I wanted to stay with me in Texas. Well, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And I resolved in, even in the healing process, that God is God. I also challenge her son that one decision can change your life. And it can change it for the good or it can change it for the bad. You will receive many community expectations, many academic expectations. But if I would challenge you during the time where you, at, you are at Lane and when you leave, make the decisions that extend or expand your life. Do you hear me? Did you hear me? Make the decisions that extend or expand your life. Because one wrong decision, one time of not showing up for class, one decision to plagiarize and not do the work on your own, one decision to attempt to cheat in other ways, one decision to go to the wrong place and be in the wrong place at the wrong time. One decision can change your life. On the flip side of that, one decision can change your life. To show up for class. To do the assigned work in a timely manner. To, to be students that we believe no one else has. To be real students respectful to faculty, staff, and to your peers. To be accountable to the things that you are asked to do while you are here, knowing that it may be a little tasking right now, but it will make you better later. To be responsible. To do the things that leaders do in this world, to make the decisions, to go that extra mile, to love your neighbor as yourself, to treat everyone like you want to be treated, to do the work that is going to extend and expand your life, and to be exceptional in all that you do. Don't be just enough students. Be those students that go the extra mile. So that when you leave and you go to the various disciplines that you find yourself, whether it's what you intended to do or what God places before you are the ways of God, that you will be at the top of your game and beyond. Doing those things that only rare leaders do. So I ask you today, I appeal to you today, 
make the decisions that extend or expand your life. And know that God is indeed sufficient. So if you get a little weak in the process, call on God and come talk to us and we'll help you get through. science major, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And the reason I'm up here is to welcome you all to Lane College. So I prepared a speech for you. Where do I start? I have the honor of welcoming in the next class of geniuses, lawyers, doctors, scientists, icons, million and billionaires. What words of encouragement am I to use to unlock the potential of the next group of people who are going to change the world? If you haven't realized it already, I'm talking about you. Each and every one of you sitting in this room today. Now, before writing the speech, I thought to myself, what am I expected to get up here and say? How should I convince you that here at Lane College is where you will unlock your fullest potential? Should I talk about the culture, oh, the parties, or maybe I should speak about the calf? Oh, the calf. We have a love and hate relationship. <laughs> or maybe I should warn you about the challenges of being a college student, hoping that you'll avoid making certain mistakes early on. Overall, I think the goal of my speech is to have you leaving here saying to yourself, this is where I belong. I guess the best way of doing that will be to tell you about my experience. So that's what I'll do. I'll start off by admitting that attending Lane College was not my first option. Honestly, upon graduating high school, I did not know what I wanted to do because I did not know what direction I wanted to go. I was lost. But in that time, I realized my work and that I had the potential to do so much more than what it is that I was doing. That epiphany that I had sitting in that chair at that Amazon warehouse on my 30 minute lunch break was the start of what was going to be the rest of my life. August 31st, 2021, the day I drove from Memphis, Tennessee to Jackson, Tennessee to move into my dorm room, I remember feeling stagnant. I had no expectations of what was to come all I knew was that I was here to get my degree and leave. In that first month, I spent most of my time in my room. I had no desire to make any friends or do anything extra. I was on a mission. However, I forgot one thing. I am attending the illustrious Lane College and there was no way that you can walk around on this campus for four years and not be embraced by the experience of what a true HBCU has to offer. I hit the ground running, joining everything that I could, taking advantage of every opportunity that I could. That's the type of environment Lane College provides its students. Now, I'm the 2022-2023 Mr. Phi Beta Lambda of Phi Beta Lambda Business Fraternity Incorporated. I'm a member of the Luminosity Lab at Lane College, carrying a grade point average of a 3.2. I'm a member of this year's Student Government Association. 
and I have my full tuition covered with no out-of-pocket cost to me. And I'm speaking at this year's freshman induction ceremony right now. So I guess there's nothing left for me to say, but welcome to Lane College. This is where you belong.
college players is actually found as an insert inside of the program. And I ask you to share in this pledge. I state your name. Pledge to uphold and demonstrate through my action. Lane College's motto, motto, the power of potential. I pledge to maintain high academic standards and commit to ethical academic practices. I pledge to learn and respect the history of our founders. I pledge to attend class regularly and to arrive on time. I pledge to communicate regularly with my professors and advisors. I pledge to respect others as well as myself. I pledge to participate in campus and community activities that uplift others as well as myself. I pledge to uphold the ideals of a Lane College man or woman. I pledge to graduate in 2026. Okay, celebrate yourselves. So we can now take part in our induction ceremony. And so each of you, each of your names will be called. You will approach the stage from my right to your left. You will hand the card in your hand to um, Reverend McKendra. Then you will walk on the stage. You will shake hands with those of us who are on stage. And then you will descend and you will receive your Lane College lapel pin and you will sign in for the induction ceremony on today. And you'll be guided by, Mr. President, are you, are you guiding today? You'll be guided by Ms. President, and uh, who will be assisting us in this, this process. Ms. President, will you begin on this side? Now I invite you all to follow the direction of Ms. President, and as scholars, let me invite you all, would you please keep your voices, uh, hold your voices. Uh, this will take a little while, uh, but please hold your voices. And um, for each of us, we had a little bit of a change in the process, so. Hezekiah Phillips. Sean David. Montez Deloney. Jalen Austin. LaPaul Wooten. Zacharias Payne. <laughs> Jeremiah Richardson. <laughs> Anthony Richardson. 
Xavier Hamilton. Gavin Saunders. Madison Moore.
Jaden Wilson. Brianna Gates. Cadence Chambers. William Sexton. Jesse Lane. Gordon Hudson. Jamarian Jackson. Rodney Sauls Jr. Zenaya Hunt. Jordan Antoine. Terrell Smith. Simmons. Terrell Simmons. Ira Porter. Akia Terrell. Malcolm Banks III. Grayson Smith. Cordarius Hill. Takira Perry. Marlacia Wolf. Mira McGee. Anaya Perkins. Asia Franklin, Tariana Garrett, Shelby Bora, Ashanti Tigwell, Jakaya Eskew, Malia Nash. Kyler Hurd. Travion Harris. Mahogany Richmond. Nyla Berry. Nadia Transu. Jaden Braxton. Zacchaeus Fry, Nicholas Baker, Tamaya Bondra, Ava Merrick, Addison Johnson, DeAsia Hester. Tanaya Gentry. Island Pickett. Carissa Ball. Jocelyn Webster. Sierra Luster. Nevaeh Manning. Jersey Cabana. Jordan Carter. Trinity Smith. Ariane Battle. McKaylin Chamber.
Vangelis Chambers. Shannon McNair. Sean McNair. Shayna McNair. Sean McNair. Anthony Hunt. Anthony Forbes. Montreal Smith. Daniel Beard. David Ivey. Zaylin Thomas. Bryant Weather. Taryn Taylor. Mardis Cannon. Elena Edmund. Lamaya Hackman. Terrence Wilkins Jr. Deshaun McCullough. Mario Pearson. Jeremy Taylor. Keontae Misby. Cedric Pryor. Joshua McDonald. Stephen Anthony. Jordaniel Campbell. Anthony Thomas. Malik Andrew. Edward Lofton. Samara Harris. Anaya Gaynor. Anaya Ramon Allen Jr. Zachary Rockwell. Kendrick Sneed. Tyler Brown. Zach Baker. James Clue. Hilarion Jew. Lyndon Wallace. Brandon Holloway. Emmanuel Turnipseed. Sandy Lamour. Tamia Jackson. Jeremiah Gooch. Jordan Knox. Brooklyn Stewart. Tanisha Wilson. Damon Pounds. Jasper Morgan. Kyra Gaston. Jayla Johnson. Janaya Davis. Juliana Causey. Taylor Johnson. Claudel Young. Jamario McFarland. Tyler Mason. Brandarius Hill. Tyler Banks.
Daniel Terrazas. Isaiah Morris. Devin Brown. Adam Sewell. Dakila Houston. Desiree Manning. Amari Gann. Jasmine Walker. Brianna Blackwell. Kimaya Travis. Naya Wayne. Ashley Price. Ariana Sutherland. Zayana Henderson. Lorraine Kirk. Nazaria McElroy. Chelsea Brown. Marquis Mango. Godwin Phillips. Christian Thomas. Jeffrey Williams. Asia Green. Shelby Green. Anaya Cole. Ashley Wigan. Aaron Isabel. Taj Shabal. Maurice Mitchell Lewis. Teresa Woods. Madison Chalmers. DeAndre Wright. Makai Lane. Terio Gansi. Jakai Johnson. Isaiah Brown. Andre T. Adarius Bitten. Jaden Wilson. Jason Stokes. Joshua Austin. Nick King. Nathan Miller. Amashia Mayo. Jermichael McCants Jr. Henry Callis. Lamarius Jackson. Jalen Dozier. Jaren Smith. Charlie Hartshaw. Sean Dawson. Tamarjo Williams. Demetrius Jones. J.D. Minzy. Christopher George. Anthony Sam. Malik Williams. Keyshawn Barnes. 
Karen Wood. Lamisha Johnson. Jasmine Lee. Hayden Kimbrough. Kenosha Wallace. Ariel Rudd. Javier Gallo. Zion LeBron. Ryan Duke. Justin Toronto. Connor Bakley. Carmen Bass. Sean Bridgeport. Jorge Marizano. David Willis. Rufus Jackson. Kobe Smith. Thank you. 
invite you now to rest up on your feet. We will process out and we will mark over to the mark over to the uh, Thank you. 